Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Claire Sanctuary right here on the Jurassic Park podcast. I feel like that ladies and gentlemen was very Best in Slot-esque. Shout out to Best in Slot, I watch a lot of his content and it's one of several great Jurassic World Evolution YouTubers who are out there. You've got people like Swerve, Gaming Beaver, all these people who have just been at Gamescom and have really got me feeling this game, you know? They've got me wanting to jump back into it, wanting to play more. So I am excited uh, and very, very keen to see where we are going to go with Mission Free on Sanctuary Island. So guys, we're just loading in here. Uh, Mission Free loaded just after I stopped playing last time. But I managed to cut out, so it should re-prompt itself in a second. The last of the rescue dinosaurs are due to be arriving soon. We are so close to making Sanctuary everything it can be. Okay, so here we go. We've got our Carnotaurus and our Cynoceratops inbound. Beautiful. The last dinosaurs are arriving. We've got to create the appropriate environments for them. Make them comfortable. So when can we start treating our paleo curation business as a business? No harm in that. I'm thinking our carno is going to go in here. If we put some feeders in. Uh, do we want live bait? Yeah. Okay, so our carno will go in there. And then our ah, that dinosaur needs a ranger team. Let's get them to go and cure this dino quickly. I'm thinking that our Cynoceratops will probably go on the end here. Or maybe eh, we'll try curving them around. We'll do A little bit of kind of give me two minutes yeah uh, the good thing about choosing the Sino is they're relatively chill with their paddock sizes so this for example is going to be far too big for them but it's better than you know giving them a small one so we can do that that is a huge Sino Ceratops paddock um, but the idea is we want to connect it all up, or do we? Hmm. Hmm. Do you know what? We're going to change this. I actually don't think I want that there at all. Ah, uh, I just did not mean to delete that. Uh, we'll fix that in a second. I think we're going to... Um, build them backing onto one of the other paddocks and kind of do something a little bit different with the safari tour. I've got an idea. I've got an idea, guys. Whether it's going to work or not, we shall see. But what I'm thinking is we will have the Sinoceratops on here. So we will bring that up to about there. Yeah, maybe... Yeah, no, that will definitely be enough space for them. Because the thing is, is they're a bit like a trike. They're very docile. I can't actually see what that's looking like, you know. We want to get rid of all of this. I do like that we can delay... How long and um, the trikes gonna the creatures are gonna take to come in that's really useful okay so we can see a bit better there give me two minutes we're just gonna keep pushing it back really um, I haven't checked at Carno's happy actually so we'll go and do that quickly should be quite happy yeah cool it's Carnotaurus is happy um, and what we really want to do is kind of put that in there, bring it across. Bring that across there a little bit further for the 
sign those ceratops. Yeah. And then get rid of that, get rid of that. We'll have some space to play with. We're not going to have many more dinosaurs to put in here, if any. So it will be interesting to see how it ends up working out. Um, but yeah. That's what we'll do. Put that in... Oh, no. Did not mean to do that. Ah, well. We'll have to do this very quickly. Put some water in. Put some feeders in. And then bring that along there. Link that up. There we go. We are all connected. I don't like how that paddock kind of fades in on itself. That doesn't look particularly ideal. Right, you need more social, I know, but we've got that coming, so that's fine. We can maybe put a small substation here. Yep, we'll bring that in. Drop you in there. This is cool, guys. I'm excited to get Sanctuary done. I really want to um, play around with bringing you guys some cinematic stuff at the end, because obviously I've played with that in the past. Um, but now we've got Dinosaur Director mode, it just feels like I'll be able to bring you guys even more in the way of fun cinematography. And I... You know, it's, it's what I enjoy doing. It really is um, kind of the bread and butter of what I enjoy gameplay-wise. Right, so we can sort this paddock out at some point. Maybe actually ring fence the end here a little bit. Like that, and then... Oh, we wanna get rid of that. No, come on. Okay, looks like we're going like that for now. Do they still have enough space for that? No, they need a little bit more forest. So what we'll do, we'll place some stuff down manually. Um, Put a couple of these in here. Okay, so they're happy. And then we can hatch two more, shall we say? Yeah. So if we get two more ready to go. Right, so I've got three more dinosaurs that I can get on this island. Velociraptor's one of them. It looks like Sora, Pelta, and maybe Ankylosaurus. Um, so not massive numbers of dinosaurs, but you know, we can get more. Right, we want our Sinoceratops, and then we might as well go do some expeditions and really start completing these genomes. So we'll finish off Baryonyx first. What do we have over here? Sinoceratops, cool. And then, you know what, here we might as well put some stuff like um, maybe a couple of hotels. Yeah, do you know what? That would make sense, wouldn't it? We'll have a path going off up here. Bring it like that. There we go. And then, yeah, maybe line it up like that. Did I unlock the bar? I feel like I did. We'll put one of these on the end. The dinosaurs. They seem to really be taking to their new enclosures. Now, get a Jurassic tour ride up and running, so others can see our new dinosaur research in person. Education doesn't need to be boring, right? Our dinosaurs are ready. 
Now we need to be too. I'm very excited to get this tool ride in in a second. I just want to get this done first. What are my terrain constraints here? Let's just grab this and get rid of that. And then put an arcade there. Yeah, we'll do that. And do we have... I don't think we've got space for anything in the corner there. <laughs> that would have been a really nice place to fit one of these. Um, then what we'll do... Back here... We'll tuck away another power plant. A large one. Um, just kind of like tucked away here. With a grey service fence that will come through. So we can tuck that in there, like so. Like that. Yeah, that works. Then if I tuck... I want to kind of put some scenery stuff in place so it doesn't feel like it's... It's publicly accessible, if that makes sense. Maybe we'll put a concrete wall in place. Yeah, that works. Um, like that. Yeah, that will do. Cool. And then we can put a little emergency shelter back here. Just so it kind of separates itself from the um, retail and touristy bit we've built up here. So you can see this, if we were to then go in and really put some plants and things in, it will probably look a bit better. to put a bunch of these in just to really kind of cover up how much stuff's going on back here. Maybe put some of these in if we can fit them in. We might not be able to. Is it these are the smaller ones? Please drink responsibly. Okay, we can't fit those in. Maybe this one? Ah, that's the smaller one. It's a shame some of them just won't fit in certain places, which, you know, I get, but it, it would be cool to be able to fit them in, but what can you do? So we'll kind of fill that up a little bit, just so... I basically want it to feel as though they've got loads of trees and things. Ideally, I don't know how this would work. I'd quite like to have like all of this lined up with trees so it feels all tucked away because obviously people can look out from the top of the hotel or from their hotel rooms and you're not really going to want them seeing a power plant maybe like that and then have more on this side yeah that's probably the way to do it yeah there we go cool so I have those like tucked away inside there so yeah from outside that doesn't look so bad because then what I can do as well is come in with this and just put some like craig make it feel nice and vibrant cool it's going to be nice when they inevitably add down in more stuff that you can place down yourself as well because I reckon they're going to get really creative with it I mean, now they know it's doable, really the world is their oyster, and I'm really, really excited to see what the team decide to play with next, because I think there's a lot of really cool placeable objects that they could potentially add in. 
cool, right? So that's kind of our nice little um, functional area. How are we looking in terms of our park rating? Cool, so we're five stars on facility. It's just those dinosaurs we need to get up now. Right, so we will hatch our Sinoceratops. And I think this will be big enough for Velociraptors, won't it? Yeah. Yeah, that should be. We can put them in there. And then have a play, put some more Brachiosaurs somewhere, maybe. Right, so... That Sinoceratops 1 hatched. The Sinoceratops 2 should be following. Cool, we'll get those over in the paddock with the others. Uh, and then we will... Let's research a Jurassic tour. Okay, so research centre. This is exciting, man. This is very exciting. Um, enclosures. Oh, Jurassic Tour! We'll get electrified fences as well, actually, just because. Velociraptors! Right, so I'm thinking we're going to make Jurassic Tour go through these and then maybe come down to this one. We'll see, we'll play with it. I feel like this paddock could do with some more decoration. So let's um, let's have a play with it. Let's make it. Let's make their paddock dirt. I'm sorry if you can hear the squeaky chair every now and then, by the way, guys. It is very squeaky. Okay, so we don't have space for that, but we do. We've got some of them. Let's put a couple of these guys in here. Maybe it feels very, like, redwoody, which I like. Put some more rocks in. I'm hoping eventually they'll add some smaller rocks, then we can kind of get really in and finite with how much I don't know why I'm using the word finite that's really not right but we can get like in depth with the kind of level of scenery that we're placing into these enclosures which would be really cool can I place any rocks in here let's go for We've already got one of rock one. I want it. I want it different. I want it different. All right. Let me make it different. <laughs> Maybe place it there. I mean, I don't see why not. Yeah, that'll work. So they've got this quite unique paddock, which looks cool. I mean, if we were to put some, should we go vibrant? Yeah. Just kind of. it up a little bit. That looks cool. That'll do. That'll do for now. Right, and then we want to put in... Where is it? Jurassic Tour. Cool. So if we were to put this in back here, for example... Okay. Okay, 
this if we were to do interesting okay so we can get up to here let's get rid of that feeder and then bring it around curve it back through there curve back next to our path here go up towards ourselves here bring it so it continues running down Keep going. And we then of course curve back around into our station. Okay, cool, so we have just put in a Jurassic tool. That's exciting. Cool, right, okay, how are we doing time-wise? We've got about six minutes or so left on this episode. So what I think we're gonna do guys is move these guys over to their paddock to the and then we're gonna jump in guys we're gonna do our tour i don't want to wait for this i want us to experience this as the end of the episode i'm excited for this right so we need to connect it up so we're gonna make this our flagship attraction Wow. <laughs> Just wow. <laughs> Our sanctuary is really coming together. Oh, this is the part of John Hammond's vision that I always believed in. I'm in Miss Ronnie too. And today I wish that they were both here to see this. Because they'd be so proud of what we've all accomplished. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Well done. This is all starting to feel so familiar. It's like what we had before, but with less screaming. <laughs> That's cool. So that's mission three finished. We've got the tall paleo feeder, palms, ginkgo, and additional fossil access now available. Uh, I'm going to let mission four just queue up because that's what it will want to do. And then we will go and access the tour. Oh, that's cool. You can, you can price up your tours as well. Cool. Okay, let's jump in, guys. Let's see it. Out there, it's Dino Eat Dino. In here, it's just the costs of doing business so our guests can see Dino Eat Dino, right? The Hammond Foundation has found it necessary to raise their fees. It means they believe you can afford it. So there's that. Okay, so our final mission reach 500,000 profit per minute. Okay, Cabot Finch has been putting some pressure on me. See, the deal I made with them is that I get a chance to save the dinosaurs. And without your help, that would never have happened. So thank you. But they, the Hammond Foundation, would eventually open Sanctuary to an even wider audience. Okay, so basically the final mission. So we'll do this later on. Um, right now I'm gonna see if we've got to unlock first person in the... So, if we're gonna let in guests, this time, we are doing everything right. Guest safety, dinosaur safety and well-being, everything. Here we go. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Let's make Sanctuary a success. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure how we go into the tour truck. Do we have to unlock the drivable version of it to be able to go into it? It's interesting. Let's, um... Yeah, because we can't... 
Oh no, left stick. Here we go, guys. This is cool, so we can switch our seats. Okay, so it's meant to give us an audio tour. I'm not entirely sure where that is at the moment. Here we go. Is a ceratopsid dinosaur. She is significant as the first known ceratopsid found outside of North America. So Sinoceratops was the first known Sinoceratopsid found outside of North America. Cool, so that's a little look at the tour. That's really cool. Um, that's where we're going to end it for this episode, guys. So I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. As always, please do feel free to like, subscribe, comment, do all that kind of cool stuff. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next episode.